Hello guys, MS Modern here, and today I thought we'd do a quick tutorial on how to add relight to a map. So, if you haven't heard of relight before, it's basically a modification for lightning for the game. Um, it changes the lightning conditions for more, or as you can see there, a more immersive experience at no additional performance cost. Um, if you scroll down on this website, I'll put this in the description. If you scroll down for the map makers, you can. I think I'm pretty sure it's standalone is for like it's like a mod. So you just put it in your mods folder, and it will add to any game. But if you are a mod maker or a map maker or whatever you want to, we want to clash yourself as. You want to go for the FS22 Relight version 1300 map files. Download that, and then once you have downloaded that, you will get a file like this. It will be in a zip, so just unzip that, as you can see there. If I get rid of that one, which I've already done before, so if I get rid of this one here. So if you go click on here, I use 7-zip, so extract to, and it should extract there. So there you will get four files. Ignore this one, it's basically, uh, basically just uh, a manual photo of how to do it, but I'm going to show you how to do it in a video. So you close that down, get your map. So as you get here... So you, you've got your maps, your icon, your mod description, and your preview. So in this part here, you want to put in the real light, uh, and maps, the color gradient for day and the night. Drag them in. That's it. It's all you need to do for that part. Click onto the maps folder, go into there, and then go into here. If you if your map hasn't got like an environmental XML, you just drag that one in, and it should be there. But there's some things you need to change so in the map xml you need to go to here and then you need to look for, for environment i mean it's right there normally at the top but if you can't see it find control and f and it will bring up this little thing put in environment and you'll find it so basically all you need to do now is change from data app to maps let's get rid of the data maps map powerpoint environment just double check that before you save it so you click on here so you go maps map powerpoint environment done save that one get rid of that get rid of that go back onto your map back to here and here normally for me from my past plus plus i normally get a backup version i normally just tend to delete that because it's only a simple change um and that's pretty much it to to it guys um i'll quickly jump into game with this map if it will load for me and then um i will show you what it looks like in game bear with me a second guys Alright guys, so we were in FS22. I couldn't get that map to load because I needed to change the mod desk and stuff like that, but I thought I would just jump into the map I'm making. If you are on my Facebook page, you would have seen pictures of this map. It's my work in progress. I've been sharing all the progress and updates I've been doing on it. But this is the part where um, I put on Facebook already. So I already have Relight installed on this map. It's all done up. So what you saw me do previously, I've done it. So as you can see here, it makes the colours really vibrant. It brings it stand, makes it stand out. It makes it look more realistic in my eyes. And if I just quickly time faster time, you'll see it in As you can see there, I will slow it down again in a minute. So that's the night time. Uh, let me get the uh, the HUD visibility up it's just so we can see the time. So that's the morning. Let me fast forward to like the Look at that. It gives a nice glow for the sunrise and makes it a really, really realistic how it would be in real life if you're out in the fields farming and tracking. And then obviously night time comes, it gets a little bit more dark. And then yet again, but all the, all the seasons change. So if we go to uh, January where it's snowing, let's fast forward there. November, come on, one month. Come on, there we go, December. One more month. Is it going to snow in January for this game? Let's see. Is it, is it going to... There's it snowing. So as you can see, it makes a really nice difference. It makes it look really realistic. So um, if you guys do want to add this to your map, go ahead. The link is in the description. A big shout out to the creator. He's done an amazing job and he's also working on it all the time. So shout out to him. And I will see you guys hopefully in the next tutorial or video, whatever I do.